So you have created some curves for your 3D model and you want to start to loft it, but your loft constantly fails and you don't understand why. This video shows you what the problem is and how to fix it. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So, Enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video. And now let's dive in into this tutorial. What's another problem is when your lofts don't work and you just don't understand why. So open that file and let's check out the second one here. And so we have this created this uh, cage. So again, this is, don't think about um, how to create that and all that kind of stuff because yeah, for you as a beginner, um, you will create other cages, but this is just an example out of our helmet course. So I have a course and I took this example because people always ask uh, the same questions. And so first of all, when you create the helm, again, as I told you in the beginning, we always have to start with the very main shape and form of the helmet, of the head form, and then we start to add all of the details. But yeah, so this is one step. And what we have to do is, so we want to create a nice smooth, like head shape. And for that, you have to select those curves and loft them. And now we have to add this shape here at the top. Because um, yeah, we built here some curves, so this is a cage, and then we can start to loft to bring the surface inside so exactly that the surface matches the curves. Yes. So we want to do it here. And again, in the course, of course, I explain everything in detail and how we set it up. Now it's just an example if a loft in your personal project just doesn't work. So we select those curves, we press L, and now shift click. Bam, we add this curve, but everything looks correct. Why can't we add this loft? Hmm, weird, right? So let's select this, 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 loft, and shift click, and again, unknown error. So we don't even know <laughs> what the hell is happening, right? So as I told you in our previous parts, when you create curves and lofts, you have to press one, and everything where they connect, you need a green point. So here to the top, you see this curve is connected with this curve and this is with this, but here's purple. And if we zoom in, you see those are not connected. So in this example, we can just take this one and control click to this other point and now it's green. And we can check out at the bottom. So you see, we have the same problem. Just take this point, control click to that point. And also here in the middle one. So this is not so obvious, but literally every point needs to be green. So take this point and just control click here to the middle. And let's see if everything is green. Perfect. And now shift click loft shift and shift and voila, we have a nice form. But if you watch the previous parts, we forgot something. And what is it? So maybe let me, if we select this surface and Alt X and bring to the other side, so maybe you see it already. So if we hide or delete all of those curves, <laughs> we don't have at all what we want, even though that this curve at the top is tangent, but our surface is not tangent. Why? Because we took a curve, but it's around the middle. So again, we have to extrude only those curves in the middle. So extrude them with E and delete or hide those curves. And now again, select the edge 
The Curve, The Edge, Loft, and Shift and Shift. Okay, delete this supporting face and this one and select this face, Alt X, bring it to the other side. Voila, we have our main shape. And yeah, just if, if someone is interested, so what would be next? Again, we would first delete it because it was just uh, to show it. But then you see, because we have the main form and then we can start to cut here this detail. So we cut this away. So you don't have to follow because it's just very quick. And also here at the bottom. So again, a control point curve. And I will just adjust the curve and maybe this one a little bit. So take this curve, delete it, the surface. And you see, we are then going slowly and slowly and we are shaping our helmet. And of course, that's so much more to do and that's so much fun. And yeah, I really love this helmet surface modeling course because yeah, the design is awesome and all that kind of stuff. So just to sum it up, when you have curves and you build a cage or you want to loft something and it just doesn't work, always make sure that everything is connected to everything. So again, maybe just a little bit of a different situation. So if you take those points and but you just bring them a little bit outwards. So maybe you arrived somehow at this situation first and you try to loft that. Loft, it works, but shift click. This at the top doesn't work again. Why? Because these points are not connected. And Again, we would have to select them both and with G and V and control click here to the corner. Or oh, I don't know if I hit it, it's correct, but then you can loft it again and shift click add and you see now everything works. Perfect. So let's check out our next problem. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.